administrators, teachers, and families are all natural partners in your social and academic growth and development. Your emotional intelligence is an integral role in the school community, which is why many elementary and middle schools have adopted the Leader in Me program by Sean Covey, who happens to be Stephen Covey's son, the author of my favorite book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Sometimes people say and do things that hurt our feelings so much that it can even ruin our day. In this story, we're going to look at how Pokey implements habit number one. We're going to look at how he is proactive and how he takes charge of his feelings and his emotions. Just the Way I Am, written by Sean Covey and illustrated by Stacy Curtis. Welcome to Seven Oaks. Here is a Seven Oaks village. Mountainville Elementary, the Everlasting Peaks, Lone Peak, Stuart Falls, Goob's Cave, Jumper's Hole, Pokey's Place, Sammy and Sophie's Treehouse, Cherry Creek, The Meadow, Miss Hoot's Garden, Tagalong Alley's Burrow, and Lily's Burrow. Pokey Porcupine was sad. Every time he walked by Biff Beaver, Biff made fun of him. Hey, Pokey, your quills look like a pile of toothpicks. Spelling Bee Tuesday, go team. Allie doesn't look very happy. And he's not helping. Pokey would go home and look in the mirror. Biff is right, Pokey thought. My quills are ugly, so ugly, I'm not going to school anymore. His friends tried to help. I like your quills, said Goo Bear. They're spiky. He's being outlandish, said Sophie Squirrel. Out what, said Sammy Squirrel. It means silly, said Sophie. There's nothing wrong with your quills. I think he's wooed, said Tagalong Alley the mouse. You're a porcupine. You're supposed to have quills, said Jumper Rabbit. Just like I'm a rabbit, I'm supposed to be bouncy. <coughs> Pokey went for a walk in the meadow. He thought about what his friends had said. He stopped and looked at his reflection in Cherry Creek. He wiggled his quills up. He wiggled his quills down. They made a nice tickly sound in the wind. They sparkled in the sun. Pokey decided his quills weren't so bad. I like myself, he thought, just the way I am. The next day, Pokey went to school. Here is Mountainville Elementary. How come your quills poke out so far, said Biff. There he is, making fun of Pokey again, and he's not helping. Pokey smiled and walked away. He was not going to let Biff ruin his day. The next morning, Pokey decided he liked his quills so much he would show them off at school. All of his friends gathered around him. I wish I had quills, said Biff. If someone you know habitually makes you feel bad by making fun of your appearance, your family, your friends, your schoolwork, or whatever else they decide to bring up to bring you down, simply disengage. Do not start a battle of who is better. Also, don't try to convince other people 
of how bad this person is. In the end, we all want to be accepted and we all want to be liked. For certain people, it's just harder to build and develop healthy relationships, which is why I wanted to share this story with you. Two other books that I would like to suggest that remind me of habit one are Mean Gene Recess Queen and Wilson Sat Alone by Deborah Hess. If you liked this story, give it a thumbs up. Remember, all of my videos are put together with you in mind. My name is Miss Rios and this is Teacher Approved.